Hello and welcome to this Cloudworks for AutoCAD product demonstration. My name is Paul Burrows from Leica Geosystems and throughout the duration of this demonstration you will find out a little bit more about the product serving as an introduction and at the end we'll provide contact details so you can reach out to us and learn more. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is go to our Cloudworks menu bar within AutoCAD and we're going to open up an LGS file. So typically you will see a point source already listed uh, but in this instance if you click the three buttons you can navigate to another location and you can open that file and what you'll see then is the point cloud pretty much regardless of size will om uh, open almost instantaneously uh, showing all the points all the time within the AutoCAD window. So we're going to look briefly at some of the tools that you can use to hide data and limit the amount of data you're viewing to make your drafting experience a little bit more easily. So the first thing we're going to use is hide outside function. I'm just going to draw a small box around the area of interest and then that will automatically hide all of the data. Um, now what we would like to do obviously is start drawing a floor plan of some of these rooms in the, uh, in, the in the middle of the screen that you can see now. So we're going to use the function uh, the quick slice function and we're going to use quick slice wall. And what we're going to do is just pick a location on the wall and that will automatically set a slice at the height that you have picked and it will also orientate the scan data and square it up ready to start digitizing and then just using some of the AutoCAD functionality we can get a much much better view. Now we're going to change the point cloud color to intensity that allows us to see it a lot more clearly on the black uh, background within AutoCAD and then what we want to do is start digitizing and drawing up the, the floor plan. So we're going to use this two point polyline tool built into the Cloudworks menu. And this is really quite nice. It allows us to very, very rapidly just start working through and digitizing the floor plan. And you can see we've just picked on those two points. And then when we pick on the next two points that will automatically generate the corner for us and join that up. What's also really nice is if you've got an area where there is a gap in your data, it will also um, create the corner automatically. And you'll see this now in this section of the video. So obviously we've got an obstruction there with the door that's open. But if we pick on two points below on the other section of wall, it will automatically create the corner for us. And then we could obviously segment that line later on to insert the door space if we needed to. So then we would just carry on and we can just work our way very, very quickly through this data set using the two point poly uh, line method and digitizing our floor plan. So this is just one of the ways that you can do that. There's plenty of other tools across the Leica suite that will allow you to do this. But what's nice here is occasionally if you get an overshoot, if you just now continue, that will actually just correct the overshoot automatically. And as we saw before, if we now just type um, close, C for close, that will automatically close that line and we can start working on other parts of the data set. So in a typical, uh, here's what we did earlier. I'm just going to go to that sports hall, uh, second sports hall tab and you can see the line work that we created for the entirety of the project including obviously all the door spaces um, and any wall, uh, windows that uh, might be in that view and uh, there you go we can start pushing that out and plotting that accordingly if we need to remember this is all to scale this is all coming in at one to one scale based on the point cloud measurements um, and you can obviously specify the units that you're using within AutoCAD. So what we're going to do now is create another layer um, and we're going to look at another tool now, which is uh, the ability to effectively create ground points automatically. So I'm just going to turn the point cloud back on, but what we want to do is use the inverse method. So I'm going to turn the point cloud back on, I'm going to invert the, um, the clip, and so we get rid of the building, because we're actually now interested in the exterior of the building. And this is where we're going to use the points on grid functionality to generate our Kogo points automatically either lowest, highest, closest or ground points and we'll explain those in a second. Okay so now we're just going to jump into that points on grid tool as I said before so here's points on grid in the Cloudworks menu and that will open up the dialog box and allow us to choose some of the settings so you can see as I said before you can define a fence via a polygon or a square or a circle so what we're going to do is draw a polygon around the area that we're interested in to develop our Kogo points and what's quite interesting here is you'll see that we've got areas of foliage and we go back to the points on grid um, method. You can specify the, the, the size of the grid that you're going to use. So in this instance, we're going to do points every three meters. And then you can use the smart picking method. So this will actually drill down through any vegetation to give you the lowest points. And then you can actually specify the result type as well. So once you're happy, you just say place points. 
Um, in this instance, it might come up with a warning to say it's going to yield a lot of points, but actually it's a very, very fast operation. So we're just going to press OK. And this is showing real time that computation of all those points on the grid. Um, and what we can do then is obviously once we've finished the operation is just turn off the point cloud and you'll see that the points will have penetrated through those areas of foliage to give us the lowest points in those given regions. So once that's finished, there you go, that's all again, real time operation. There's all your Kogo points. And if we move around in 3D, you can see that they've been placed in exactly the right location. And those ones over in the tree area have actually gone through the vegetation, as I said before. So that is just some of the basic functionality within Cloudworks for AutoCAD. There's a whole heap of fitting tools um, and smart picking tools within there that you can get used to. Um, and we'll look at these uh, further in, in future sessions um, and webinars. But we can now turn that point cloud back on and you can see there's our resultant point clouds. Turn all the clips off and we're back to our project with our ground floor plan that we've created and also our Kogo points. So that is Cloudworks for AutoCAD. Um, if you'd like to reach out to me, you can catch me at paul.burrows at Leica-Geosystems or you can reach out to any of the sales organizations and any guys in those regions should be able to help you out. So thank you very much for listening. Take care and we'll speak to you soon.